Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Jessica Eyes with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. We recently spoke with Jason Mills about concerns that the provisional waiver program is not working as the administration had intended and is letting down U.S. citizen spouses and children who are unintended victims of harsh immigration law. Today we are joined by Jim Austin, the chair of A-List CIS Ombudsman Liaison Committee. Jim, I understand that your committee identifies problems that individuals and employers experience when dealing with USCIS and propose systemic changes to mitigate problems. Can you discuss what is being done regarding concerns over provisional waiver decisions? Well, the problems that we're seeing with provisional waivers is that they're being denied often by misinterpreting the grounds of inadmissibility or by ignoring the petty offense exception. Although CIS did tell us when they first started provisional waivers that they were going to deny cases if there was a reason to believe the person is inadmissible, it was still expected that we would get receive a meaningful review of the documents that were submitted. And as you know, there's over 100 AILA attorneys that volunteer to do liaison work with different government agencies. So when an issue like this comes up, you can be assured that there's, the government agencies are going to be hearing our, our voices on this at many different levels. Thank you, Jim. And what is the best way for AILA members to get assistance if they receive a waiver denial and they feel the inadmissibility grounds were loosely or inappropriately applied? Well, the first thing to do is always send information on your denial that you think was wrongfully, that was wrongfully issued. Send that to AILA at reports at AILA.org. It is great help to liaison when we have examples and lots of specific examples that we can show the government where the law is not being correctly applied. If you run through all your other resources and trying to get your case fixed or, or get it reconsidered, you can always contact the AILA Ombudsman's, or I'm sorry, the CIS Ombudsman's office. Uh, the Ombudsman does case intake. They do case services. They have a large staff that deals with these things. Uh, you can apply on the Ombudsman's website online to make your request, and they can help review the case for you. What do you hope to see happen regarding the provisional waivers? Do you see a potential resolution to this problem? Well, I'm hoping to see CIS move towards increasing the quality of their adjudications. This is really a classic example of government, do your job. Making inadmissibility determinations are not something new for CIS. They do it constantly in the adjustment of status context. When people are paying $670, they deserve a quality decision and not just a denial based on a suspicion. Thank you, Jim, for joining us. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for more updates through Immigration Quick Take with the American Immigration Lawyers Association.